Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and I do like video games and in today's video we're going to be playing Battlefield 4 on Xbox Series S. And the reason we're doing that, other than the fact that it is a kick-ass game, I mean, it's an amazing game, is the fact that on Xbox Series S and X, it is 120 FPS. And, like I said in my previous video, or one of my previous videos, I did recently get a brand new capture card that allows me to do 120 FPS captures. So I have my TV set to 1080p, or my monitor, set to 1080p at 120 FPS, or 120 hertz, and we are now in Battlefield 4 on Xbox Series S. You can see FPS Boost also supports quick resume, so if you want to play the campaign and hop into something else, you can hop right back into this, so it's no big deal. But this is the base game. Battlefield 4 base Xbox One code being run at 120 FPS. This didn't even get... Not only did it not get a next-gen patch, it didn't even get an Xbox One X patch. So this is running 720p at 120 FPS on Xbox Series S. Uh, it does the exact same on Series X. And it also supports auto HDR, which I don't have because my monitor does not support HDR, unfortunately. But this is the game, and it looks amazing. It's insane to think that this launched in 2013. Oh. Enemies. Oh my god. Policies drop. Damn it, Wrecker. I almost shot you in the face. You did almost shoot me in the face. Jesus. You almost shot him in the face, too. Actually, you know what? Instead of the M16, I want the G36C. There we go. Two headshots. Let's go. Was hoping to get that guy while he was jumping over the thing. Wait, how high is this? You okay, Irish? How high did he just jump? Did he just scale the entire side of a building? How high up are we? This guy's a maniac. He's on PEDs. And I'm missing my shots too. Uh, I didn't get all of them with one grenade. Got most of them, though. About to sneeze. Alright, we're good. It's so crazy how good this game looks, even to this day. About nine years removed from this game's release. And it still looks this good. In fact, um, the first time I played this was actually, believe it or not, on Xbox 360. Um, it obviously did not look this good. It looked great. Um, it also ran at 30 FPS on 360, whereas on Xbox One and PS4 it was 60. Um, I mean, it was barely 60. It rarely hit 60 on either console, honestly. But it could go up to 60 FPS on the base Xbox One and PS4. Oh no. He's getting away. Not for long. Got some bad guys rolling up here.
Let's get rid of that vehicle. We don't want them having that vehicle. It's a shame this game never got a resolution boost. Even if it was just a 1080p, you know? Even just 1080p. And I'll tell you what, I know why it never got a resolution boost. Because if they gave this a resolution boost, Battlefield 2042 would be even more dead than it is. Because this has a pretty, pretty damn good community. Even still on base Xbox One. Standing by for targets. Ooh, damn. Dude, who's driving that helicopter? They are a savage. This gun is not the most accurate weapon to be using, I would say. Get out of here. Ooh, I remember that. Wait. I remember this part. Okay. I want a sniper on this one. Please. Actually, you know what? I'm going in, I'm going with the DMR. Sniper's cool and all, but I love the DMRs. Cool if I could hit my shots though, right? Who is shooting? Stop that. Stop that guy. Come on, peek your head out. Peek your head out, sir. There we go. that not three perfect headshots go. dude this this grenade launcher is eating them up let's uh see what we got here Shot. How's that not a headshot? There we go. I felt like the first two were headshots right there. Where'd you come from? Oh, this part. If you're playing this on a TV or monitor with HDR, this part with auto HDR looks so good. Even without auto HDR, it looks good right now. Looks incredible. Like, look at the... Look at the water. Look at the god rays from the sun. Very good looking game. This engine, the Frostbite engine, when DICE works with this engine, and that's pretty much the only engine they work with, when it's DICE, you know it's going to look good. Like, DICE are wizards with this engine. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Run. Can we run? Let's run. Why did- Oh, I don't know why you guys stopped. You guys should keep running. What's well, time to run? It's not time to take cover. It's time to run. Well, now the building is unstable. It's been hit by a missile. Oh my god. I forgot about that part. Dude, that would have chopped you in half. 
That would have cut him all in half. I'm missing all my shots here. Very good. Like a professional gamer. This is so impressive. For a 2013 game, this is so impressive. And it's fantastic that they were able to make it 120 FPS on Xbox. Oh, but we're not getting into that cutscene because I'm pretty sure there's a spoiler there. But uh, that is it for this video. Uh, this is such a fun game. I highly recommend it. Um, 120 FPS, it's fantastic. Series S and Series X support 120 FPS with FPS boost on Battlefield 4. Looks amazing. Auto HDR is amazing if you've got it plugged into a TV with HDR enabled. Uh, highly recommend it. Campaign is very fun. Story is actually really good. Um, it's really underrated in my opinion. Very underrated story in this game. But uh, yeah, I love it. Uh, the multiplayer, um, still booming by the way. The community for this multiplayer is still pretty damn big. Uh, I know people flock to this game when 2042 kind of failed to get off the ground. People came back and flocked to Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5 even. So uh, these games have a really great community. And like I said, if you've got Game Pass Ultimate, you can download it now in EA Play via Game Pass Ultimate. So it's definitely worth checking out. Like I always say, if you made it this far in the video, I want to say thank you for watching because it does mean a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video.